Alright guys. Now it is a nasty yuck whatever. Don't tell me that. Uh don't don't do this to me. Uh yeah. It is a nasty ugly winter night here in the middle of October. That would be uh that would be, it is a Wednesday night. It is October 19th, 2022. So, uh, your old doomsday lonely heart is back over at Pile of Fish trying to figure out what exactly is going on. So I have finally figured out what is going on with those uh, lion sacks of shit at Pile of Fish. So, uh, they're still advertising that you can message people for free on Pile of Fish, unadulterated or shit. Well, what it is, apparently, just so they can make that claim, you are allowed to make a first contact with someone on Pile of Fish. You get one first contact per day on Pile of Fish. So what you need to do is you need to find the one woman uh, that, in my case, you want to head off to uh, some tropical vacation with. So, uh, and, and, and guys, you, you know, I've said before, who the hell needs Shakespeare when you've got pile of fish. You know, I have probably, I don't know how many profiles I have read on pile of fish. And, and, and this is truly, I mean, it's truly tragic. So what do you think, guys? Should I answer this profile from, we'll call her Lulu. Uh, Lulu is, I mean, I'm looking at a bunch of pictures of her. She's a good looking woman. Uh, I would be absolutely thrilled uh, to, you know, to have this woman. She's 53 years old. Uh, she's a petite little thing. Uh, you know, just all smiles and whatnot. And here is Lulu's profile. Uh, she says and it demonstrates she has an athletic figure, by the way. Okay, she is an artist and she's into animal care. Artist and animal care. About Lulu. Okay, I'm really going to tell the truth about myself. I was picked on by my parents and ex-boyfriends. I have developed severe depression, anxiety, and manic episodes, including bipolar. I used to have a lot of energy and love in me. I seem to always go backwards to the abusive exes because I don't think I know anything better. I guess somehow it's a comfort zone. I have collected six cats for unconditional love. They're very smart, I guess. I spend a lot of time with them. They don't hurt me. Well, I guess I don't know if there is still hope. There is a lot of damage. And then she has the uh, emoji crying. Please do not contact me if you are over an hour away. Please. Uh, okay, these are Lulu's interest. Getting my life on track 
a little more staying busy, love learning new trades, conversation, conversation starters, the fact I now have seven lovable cats. Oh, fuck. I, I, I mean, <laughs> there you go, guys. I mean, looking at these pictures, uh, you know, she's just the, I don't know, I, I kind of like this picture of her. I can't show you the pictures. I mean, I would be in enough trouble just reading her profile. A good mushroom day. She, <laughs> she's laying out on her lawn. She's got a, a mini skirt and cowboy boots with a, uh, it looks like a hibiscus in her hair. Oh, God. A good mushroom day. Oh, Jesus. This photo is simply titled, A Lady. Just too cute. This is the, the, uh, just too cute. She is a cutie. She is truly a cutie. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna have to, I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have to uh, answer this woman, use my token of the day, and thank her for the single most honest uh, profile I have ever seen on Pile of Fish. All right, let's look at Lulu number two. How about Lulu number two? <clears throat> she's 56 years old. She's 56 years old. She lives about a half hour from Bugs in a Jar Farm. She has a picture of her on the beach. Okay, she has a master's degree. She says she doesn't have quite the cute body of the athletic Lulu number one, but average, she is claiming this is an average body. Okay, about Lulu number two, this is her total, her total profile. I will drive four hours to see the full moon rise over the ocean. Okay, so what are Lulu's number two interest? Her first interest are live music and music festivals. Next is travel, home improvement, gardening, hiking, walking, outdoors, photography, Oh, she's a fellow Virgo. She does not have kids, does not want kids. For, convers for conversation starters, the trees have put on a particularly fine display this season. <laughs> Okay, which one should I uh, respond to? I, oh, I forgot to say that Lulu number one has children. It's still at home, too. Uh, I forgot to mention that she uh, the, the first one, the bipolar, severely depressed uh, little cutie trying to get her life back. And then we have this one. Uh, which shall it be? Do I go for the severely depressed bipolar cutie with ex-boyfriend baggage and kids at home? Or do I go for the average body uh, woman uh, who would drive four hours to watch the full moon rise over the beach? interested in live music and music festivals, travel, 
and gardening. This is going to be a tough one. Which one will I choose? I will let you decide which one did Hambone choose. Oh God, I get my one a day. What we go through. For the big fantasy, 63 years old and still going through this hopeless pursuit. Wish me luck, my guys.